阿弥陀佛。All me to all for everybody. You know, one of my first questions was, how come there weren't four microphones up here? I only saw two. <laughs> And if the monk's mouth is moving, pay no attention. All right. All right. <laughs> so, good afternoon, everybody. All you good and wise advisors, wise and compassionate ones. Here we are after mindfulness conference and. This afternoon, I'm looking for a, a volunteer who will help me conduct a Socratic seminar. Anybody? Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from Zen to Zen. Ami Dovo, Ami Dovo. Oh, nice to meet you, Ami. Oh. Uh, they call me Riley, the master of mindfulness. Master of mindfulness. Hmm. Well, I guess you must have practiced for a long time. Practice? I'm not trying to get to Carnegie Hall. I don't need to practice. No. Oh, no, I attained the perfect state of mindfulness years ago. Now all I do is live in bliss. Oh, you live in bliss. You you must be a bodhisattva. Oh well, I don't like to brag. But I've got more wisdom than Ireland has shamrocks. Well, with all that wisdom, what are you doing in Berkeley? Uh, well, you see, I was coming out of the Bard Station uh, at Shattuck Avenue uh, when I met a young lassie who told me there was uh, an enlightened being at the After Mindfulness Conference who could uh, certify my spiritual attainment. Well, did you find the enlightened being? Well, I'm looking at him right now, aren't I? With me own three eyes. Three eyes? Oh, yeah, I'm not a word of lying. It just see, I've opened me third eye. Have you seen a doctor? <laughs> the only doctor I need is the Buddha. So, what do you say? Uh, will you certify me? Well, I can, but in order to certify your. Spiritual accomplishment. I need to assess your attainment of the six paramitas, the six perfections. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's find out. Would you say, Riley, Master of Mindfulness, that you're have you perfected giving? Well, I donated ten euros to a GoFundMe campaign to help little people attend meditation classes. Little people. Well, children, right, or the less fortunate? Oh no, no, leprechauns. Oh, leprechauns, very kind. Oh, they don't call me kindly or keen in for nothing, you know. Uh, besides, it gives the leprechauns a way to focus their energies. Otherwise, they're always after me, lucky charms. Is that all the giving you do? Oh no, no, I give red envelopes stuffed with cash to Dharma masters every chance I get. Oh, so you make offerings to the sangha, huh? Uh, oh, right, right.、Uh, mainly because it brings me luck. Oh yeah.、Uh, do you know that、uh, if you give a red envelope to a monk, you'll get five times that amount in return? Oh, at least, at least、oh, five times. And I've got a little red envelope for you, for yeah. sure. Oh, I'm going to go. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to go. And now that I've given you a red envelope,、mm. I'm headed to Golden Gate Fields to put a tenner on Heavenly Holiday in the third race. Now that I've given you that red envelope, my luck's bound to improve. Yeah, good luck. Oh, see, I, I love to make offerings at the betting window at the track, especially when I have a hot tip in a filly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, are you a man who holds the precepts? Oh well, most. I, I, I do love me Guinness, you know. Uh, Guinness, the beer. Oh, well. Doesn't drinking beer interfere with your meditation? Oh, quite the contrary. I, I'm able to achieve a, a total state of mindlessness. <laughs> mindlessness.、Uh, no thoughts.、Mm. No sensations.、Mm. No self. Yeah, and no memory of last night, right? <laughs> oh, 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 last night was a doozy, sure. Okay, well, let's see now. I'll check that box. So, you hold the precept against. Taking the life of another living being, right?、Uh, well, it, it all depends、uh, how cute the animal is. How cute?、Uh, sure, you you won't see me killing a panda bear now, will you? Oh, that'd just be wrong. 
All right, but what about your diet? Oh, I don't eat panda bears either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what well, do you eat meat? Oh, well, I, I eat whatever's offered to me. Uh-huh. Uh, that's very natural, huh? Natural? Oh, sure, like if I'm at McDonald's uh, and I place me order uh, and they give me a Big Mac and fries, well, I have to eat it, don't I? It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Well, how about Burger King and Impossible Whoppers? Yeah, yeah, boy, oh boy. No, but if you go to a vegetarian restaurant, right, or a, a vegetarian household, you can have people offer food that doesn't involve suffering of animals? But don't you see, I'm taking on the suffering of those animals that are fortunate enough to find their way into me digestive tract. Mm -hmm. And why those poor animals are lucky to be eaten by a sage such as myself, mm -hmm. my merit crosses them over. Yeah, that crosses them over to where? To the pure land, oh, yeah. where there's no suffering and all sentient beings live together in peace without killing each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, just like Berkeley, huh? Yeah. Well, it is a pity we couldn't transform this world to be more like the Pure Land. Oh, well, it, it, it's all a matter of right understanding. Uh, depending on how you look at it, this is the Pure Land, uh, just with burger joints. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, let me ask you, would you say you're patient? Oh, absolutely. I'm the most patient person you'll ever find. Would you say you're patient? You just ask me that. Well. But would you, would you consider yourself a, a patient person? Are you trying to get on me nerves? No, it's a simple question. Are you a patient cultivator? Not only did I win an award for the most patient Buddhist in Berkeley, I am a model of patience. Uh-huh. But, but, but would you say that you're, you're patient? If you ask me that one more time, you're going to be a patient in the nearest hospital. Yes, yes, I am the epitome of patience. She should test the patience of a saint, wouldn't you? I don't think he's really very patient. <laughs> but how do you ensure your cultivation is vigorous? Oh, now that's an easy one. I use apps. You use apps? Apps. I've got hundreds of them on my iPhone. I've got a mindfulness app, a bowing app, a chanting app, a zen app, a bodhi app. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it, it, doesn't that distract you from your cultivation all oh, that time on your phone? Not at all, not at all. I spend so much time on my iPhone, I hardly have time for anything else. Ah, me too, for. Uh, uh, is, is that a new app? I, I, I never heard of that one before. No, it's a, tell me about your latest app. Oh, it's Mindfulness for Dummies 2.0. Mm -hmm. It's an upgrade from Mindfulness for Egypts. It allows me to mm. multitask while I meditate. I can just lie back on my sofa, tap the app, check out the latest meme, mm. and get enlightened without having to waste a lot of time sitting on a cushion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and is this how you achieve samadhi? Oh, I can achieve samadhi. I can listen to Spotify. Mm. I can even call an Uber. Yeah, well, speaking of which, your samadhi must be really strong. Oh, it's the best samadhi money can buy. But, but you can't buy samadhi. Well, sure you can. You can buy anything on Amazon. Just <laughs> type in your credit information and you can buy your way to enlightenment. Mm. Why, just last week I purchased Bodhi pants, Tao shoes, a mantra bracelet, mm. a Kuan Yin keychain, a Buddha messenger bag. If I don't attain enlightenment with my most recent order, at least I'll look enlightened until the next order comes. I see. Hmm. So, according to you, samadhi is dependent upon the marketplace. You betcha. I don't know how anyone ever got to nirvana back in the days before the internet. Mm. Nah. Now with a single click, any Buddhist worldwide can awaken to the sound of one hand shopping. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and have you spent a lot of time investigating meditation? I oh. see you're sitting in full lotus there. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. Uh, have I not? Oh, over the years, I've had to replace me Zafu three times. Oh, my goodness. So you sit a lot, huh? Oh, I sit on my butt every chance I get. Well, that takes some sort of discipline. Oh, you can say that again. They don't call me a hotshot meditator for nothing. I meditated so hard, my Zafu started to smoke. I had to switch from Kapok to uh, buckwheat holes because they don't burn as quickly. Mm. I still smoke through Zafus like they were nothing. Oh, I'm quite the champion meditator. Smoking Zafus. Ah, uh, it's a new... I'll have to try that. You're a champion, eh? Oh, three-time champion. Oh, that's incredible. So, 
Tell us all, what's your secret? Well, I've taken my share of WEDs. WEDs? Wisdom enhancing drugs. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't that cheating? Do you know any other way to get to Nirvana? Practice. Back to practice again. Well, I guess that works for people who don't have as much skill as I do. Ah, but enough about other people. Tell me, have you ever met a Buddhist like me before? Oh, I can think I can say with certainty that none of us have met anyone like you before. Oh, am I certified? You're certifiable, all right. <laughs> oh, thank you kindly. Uh, what do you think of me wisdom? Well, I'm at a loss for words, but I will say you're quite a wise guy. Oh, you're too kind. But you should know, after mindfulness, there's still work to do. What kind of work? Oh, the work of cultivation, putting the Dharma into practice, walking the Bodhisattva path. How long will that take? Lifetimes. Couldn't I just listen to a podcast? <laughs> well, you could. But in the end, you have to put in the work yourself. The good news is, we have nothing but time, and all living beings are counting on all of you. Ah, faith in Bigora. I'd better get to work then. Now, that's your first wise decision. Amitofo. Amitofo.